Well, close ordinary days is embryonic days as an amateur boxer, and we saw him in the U.S. Olympic trials in Atlanta, Georgia, back in 1980. And people around the country involved with boxing, even at that time, said, hey, Bumpus is the class of the U.S. Olympic trials. There's no question about it. He was the class, and he had a consistent factor quality. He's a quality fighter, much the same way as Muhammad Ali was a quality fighter in his young life, and the young Sugar Ray Leonard showed the quality of championship early in his life. They can learn, they can polish their skills, they can get experience, but one thing remains consistent, quality, the quality to be a champion. High praise for Johnny Bumpus, and we saw that kind of quality when we first saw Bumpus at the 1979 Golden Gloves Championship in Indianapolis. And what an extraordinary graduating class from that Golden Gloves tournament. About a select group that included Tony Ayala, Marvis Frazier, Tony Tucker, Richard Sandoval, Jerome Coffey, Clint Jackson, James Schuler, and the late Lamille Steeples. Bumpus winning the 132-pound division in the Golden Gloves by defeating Efren Nieves. And he did it all, showing the speed, the quickness, and showing that he can go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. On to the U.S. Olympic Boxing Trials at the Omni, Atlanta, Georgia, June of 1980. And Bump City proved to be one of the class fighters at the trials, coming away with a gold medal in the 139-pound light welterweight division by decision over Ronnie Shields. For Johnny Bumpus, on to the professional ranks as one of tomorrow's champions. And Johnny Bumpus has continued his quality work as a pro, carving out a record of 10 and 0, 7 by knockout. Leading us to today with Johnny Bumpus to go against Willie Rodriguez. And Rodriguez, a guy who feels he has been totally ignored by the media, despite the kind of tough opponents that he has faced, a subject he discussed with Ferdy. Willie, for a man who has fought Sugar Ray Leonard in his second professional fight and gone the distance, how could you ever seriously be worried about fighting anybody else? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not worried about fighting anybody right now. It's like um, I did fight the best, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard was the greatest, and uh, matter of fact, he still is. But right now, I'm just worried about the future, you know. I want to be champion of the world, and I've got to pass this guy right now. And, like, I'm not scared. I ain't afraid of nobody. Well, one of the things that seems to be building up here is the fact that the press has given Bumpus all of his publicity, including television promos, including ads that come out with all of Bumpus' picture. You are the champion. He is a contender. Does that frost you a little bit? Uh, no, not really. I was so, you know, it seems like every time I fight somebody, you know, they always give them a lot of publicity, you know. I'm like a nobody, but I like to prove, you know, the people that I am the champ, you know, and I always will be a champ. And, like, uh, I'm the United States champion right now, but I want to be world champ. And in order to be there, or to get there, I got to beat Bumpus, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And the two managers, Mr. Yeah. Rodriguez and Bumpus, are ready for today's fight. Not only the fighters are working... Yeah. And the two managers are ready for today's fight. Not only the fighters are worked up about the matchup, as Ferdy discovered. In a moment, the USBA championship fight. But right now, the managers are having a little tiff. Johnny Florio, the manager of Willie Rodriguez, a little miffed. His fighter has been ignored. Well, he sure has. A, uh, all I hear is Bumpus this and Bumpus that, and I got nothing against Bumpus. He's a talented kid, but oh, uh, let people know who he's fighting. It looks like he's fighting a ghost. You have to hear very close. You have to listen very closely to hear Willie Rodriguez mentioned. And Willie Rodriguez is a USBA uh, and he champion. He's a USBA champion, and he has paid his dues. He has fought the toughest fighters in the division. Well, Lou Duva, you represent a man that the media has fallen in love with, Johnny Bumpus. What do you got to say about all of this? Well, I don't know what the hell he's howling about. I mean, I got a kid over here that's won every amateur tournament, Golden Glove National AAU. He was deprived of going to, the, to Moscow for the Olympics by the boycott, uh, the, the fulfillment of every American dream for a kid. And uh, now he's undefeated as a pro. Now he's going to go for the USA title and he's going to go for the world title. Johnny, all I got to say to you is show up, show up for the CFI, fight, bring your fighter in the ring, and then you're going to carry him out. That's hey. all. You better have help when you carry your fighter. Well, just show, I'll, just I'll make sure busy. you're there with your fighter. And, and in the meantime, it's all going to be, going to be settled in a few okay, moments in the ring by two yeah. great fighters. All right, Ferdy doing a little agitating. Put the gloves on John Florio and Lou Duva. 
Johnny Bumpus and Wooly Rodriguez coming up shortly. Rodriguez has successfully defended his title six times since winning the championship by taking a 12-round decision from Rocky Ramon in March of 1980. Right now, though, let's join Mike Adamley. Ring announcer Ed Darien introducing Johnny Bumpus and Willie Fireball Rodriguez. Rodriguez, 27 years old, out of Allentown, Pennsylvania, a record of 26 and 7, with nine knockouts. Turned professional, 1976. Most recently defended his title last August, knocking out Johnny Lira in the ninth round. Rodriguez with a solid left hook, and he is ranked top 10 by both world organizations. Johnny Bumpus, 21 years old, out of Tacoma, Washington, spent the last few years in Nashville, Tennessee, and now New Jersey, a suburb of Philadelphia. The gold medal winner in the 139-pound light welterweight division at the U.S. Olympic Trials in Atlanta. As a pro, Bumpus undefeated, 10 bouts, 7 by knockout. You're looking at Willie Rodriguez. He stands 5 foot 9, so far he gives away some 3 inches in height to Bumpus. Quickness that counts uh, today. The ring is very uh, fast. The, the mat is very tight. The ropes are tight. It's all to uh, office advantage as well as he likes to ride and slide. So let's see. In the state of New Jersey, the three knockdown rule is waived, scoring on a round system with the supplementary five points if uh, the round is even and the scoring is done by the referee Arthur McCanty and the two judges, Howard Lederman and Carl Spina. And in USBA title fights, if the bout is even at the end of the schedule 12, they would go to an additional sudden death round. If that extra round turns out even, it would conclude as a draw. It's called a sudden victory round. That's the positive one. Johnny Bumpus in the red, Willie Rodriguez in the white. This is round one action. Rodriguez opening up, uh, trying to circle around and get away from that jab. And a lefty is very difficult unless you circle away from him. And certainly Bumpus has got speed as well as that awkwardness that you got to worry about. And Bumpus is trying to George Benton says Bumpus doesn't fight like a left-hander. Most southpaws throw only one or two punches. Bumpus will give you all kinds of Combinations, doubles up on hooks and right uppercuts. That's most unusual for left-handed. As he fights so smoothly, it's hard to realize you're watching a left-handed. Sometimes you get fooled and say it's a left jab, which we will do today because it looks like it. I mean, he's just so smooth. What about the cut problems that Rodriguez has faced in the past? He's had severe problems. In fact, recently had an operation to remove scar tissue. A lot of times they remove the brittle tissue and replace it with sort of an elastic tissue and scrape the bone if the bone is too sharp. It works most of the time. We'll see today. Feeling out round for both Bumpus and Rodriguez as we approach 30 seconds remaining in this opening round. He's got his own cheering section, no doubt about it. Half of Allentown is here, I think. And this first round is coming to a conclusion. For round two, Atlantic City, New Jersey, Marv Albert and the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. Scheduled for 12, junior welterweights. Willie Rodriguez, who is the USBA champion, and Johnny Bumpus. In Bumpus' last bout, he won a 10-round decision over J.J. Cottrell in Las Vegas last month. Bumpus, the southpaw, but his best punch happens to be a right hook rather than the inside left. I think his best punch happens to be a combination that he throws. 
and he throw, he's thrown it already several times uh, at the beginning of the round. I gave the last round to Bumpus by a slight margin. It was a feeling out round, but Bumpus was in command and punching. One minute in, second round. Willie Rodriguez looking for a way to keep it inside so that he can work on Bumpus inside. Bumpus is excellent from the outside and uh, is not the stronger of the two inside, apparently. Good right hand by Willie Rodriguez. Straight right, repeats it again. Halfway mark, second round. Bumpus with that great hand speed, sensational upper body movement. Just a beautiful defensive fighter. I think Bumpus is thinking defense even as he throws the punches. He's looking for the counter punch. Willie Rodriguez, the second professional opponent. For a by the name of Sugar Ray Leonard. And he lasted the full six against Sugar Ray Leonard. And Willie Rodriguez has that uh, right swelling over uh, under the right eye. Bumpus leading the attack just keeps on relentless pressure. Bumpus to go to the body, but Rodriguez caught him in these final seconds of the second round. A straight to round three as you take a look at the repair work to the right eye of Willie Rodriguez between rounds. Doctor, the doctors in attendance here was looking at it very closely. Uh, actually, a doctor by the name of Dr. Michael Sabia came up with a new iron called Inswell, which Angelo Dundee used with such success against Leonard. Both corners are going to be using it. That get, reduces the swelling pretty well. It's a new concept. Uh, it's a new concept, uh, but really an old one. It's the very cold steel uh, pushing and pressing out the edema away from the nose. It works pretty well. It used to work in the old days under the silver dollar before inflation shrunk the dollar. <laughs> Actually, uh, at the end of that round, Bumpus got hit with a tremendous right hand as he was coming in and set him back on his heels. Not enough to win the round for Willie Rodriguez, but certainly narrowing the gap. And it gone by, third round, Johnny Bumpus in the red, and Willie Rodriguez in the white trunks for Bumpus, the toughest opponent he has faced as a pro. He certainly took a stiff right to the mouth. I will say that. That was a, the hardest punch I've seen Johnny Bumpus take yet. Willie Rodriguez again able to land on Johnny Bumpus. and Rodriguez trading here in this third round. I wonder why Bumpus needs this, because they're trading evenly. Rodriguez is able to land quite effectively from inside. <laughs> Roundhouse rights being attempted by Bumpus. And Rodriguez continues to land to the body. Champion Willie Rodriguez in the swelling under the eye. And as we mentioned earlier, Rodriguez has had severe cut problems in the past. Could well, very well be a factor if this goes to 10 and 12. That cut looks bad. Well, it's going to get bad because he keeps jabbing. Remember, Bumpus punches like a machine, and that really does open up cuts.
here is Willie Rodriguez between rounds. They will have to do some more repair work. They'll be back in a moment. Or while things seem to be calm in the corner of Johnny Bumpus, they continue to work on the eye of Willie Rodriguez. And in the uh, corner of Bumpus, finally Lou Duva said, go after him. Keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on. Because I believe that round got pretty even as uh, Bumpus abandoned that uh, attack from outside and got inside, letting the champion, Willie Rodriguez, neutralize him inside. Duva was very satisfied after the first round. Had some comments after the second. Rodriguez with a good third round. Now Arthur Mercati breaks the fighter. He let him go. Mercati trying to control the fight before it gets rough. Uh, telling Bumpus, don't hold behind the head. Bumpus holds so hard to hit with that side-to-side -side motion, his head juking and bobbing and weaving. It's very difficult to hit Bumpus. We've seen Rodriguez connect on Bumpus more than any other opponent over these first uh, three rounds. Johnny Bumpus says he doesn't go out looking for a knockout because boxing is the art of landing more punches. And usually his style is hit and not get hit, but they've been involved in trade-offs. I think Johnny's just taking it to him on the ropes, figuring he can out-muscle him and out-punch him. Less than a minute left. Round four scheduled for 12. Champion Willie Rodriguez really holding his own as long as they're close together. Bumpus's corner saying upstairs, go up high. There's fourth round. So that's the score. Round four. And this is round five. A good fourth round for Willie Rodriguez. How do you score to this point? Two one and one in favor of Bumpus. Bumpus took the first two. The next one was rather even. And the champion, Willie, has sort of solved the problem last round. He was able to get in a tremendous right hand again and then finish the round up very well. Johnny Florio telling his fighter, Willie Rodriguez, keep Bumpus going backwards, which was the case uh, through a good portion of that fourth round. As is often the case when a man wins a championship, he becomes so much better a fighter. Willie Rodriguez is really fighting his heart out here. Rodriguez with a record of 26 and 7. Nine by knockout, turned professional back in 1976. He's 27 years old, out of Allentown, Pennsylvania. Has successfully defended his USBA title six times since he won it by decision over Rocky Ramon in March of 1980. Cornerman of Valiano, Florio, and Thomas are doing a great job on the cut and swelling of Willie Rodriguez, who uh, the cut has not progressed. It's stayed about the same and is not a factor right now. Play mark, round five. Bumpus bleeding from the nose. First time I've seen any blood on Bumpus. And it's beginning to pour. Those two straight right hands right on the button. Must have done some damage to the nose. Earlier, Willie Rodriguez appears to have a cut problem. 
above the right eye. It looks like that has been taken care of. Willie Rodriguez looking sharper and sharper, but Bumper's able to catch him with the combination. Well, in this case, he sides and uppercuts with him. He's hitting Bumpus. Bump is beginning to look very surprised at the quality of opposition he's getting here. His right eye is closing, his nose is bleeding. Bump is making a tragic mistake in abandoning the defense that got him here and that's beginning to get flat footed to look to punch with him. And Bumpus' right eye looks very bad right now. As you mentioned, it is closing. Final seconds, round five. He is a very tough young man, Willie Rodriguez, who has come on strong the last two rounds. He certainly has. He's proving uh, the old adage, once you get to be a champion, you're a different fighter. Tough to get it and tough to give it up. You're saying you start believing in yourself even more? I think the power of positive thinking comes in as soon as you get to be a champion. And here's Johnny Bumpus. Having the roughest time of his young professional career. Round six from Atlantic City, New Jersey on NBC's Sports World. And Bumpus coming out with the combination. Finally going upstairs. Lee Duba has been screaming go upstairs right throughout the battle. Or do you have it even now? It's even because the champion is coming on and he's making Bumpus abandon his uh, style of attack and resorting to his own. This mauling, brawling, toe-to-toe -to -toe fighting is not uh, Johnny Bumpus' advantage. Uh, Willie Rodriguez has been through the wars. He's been through the club fights and the wars. Johnny Bumpus has had all these classic easy fights. Here's where the heart comes in. Right hand by Rodriguez, left hand by Bumpus. Bumpus, when he stands outside, looks like a champion. Doubling, tripling the jab. This is getting to be a battle of the wills, battle of the contest of the wills. This round reminiscent of the Apple Fletcher and the Bernal Sabatier bout that we had on NBC. I can't imagine why. I can't imagine why they're letting Bumpus fight this way. And we will see the Bernal Sabater go against Alex Reynolds on NBC on November 14th. Rodriguez hitting the win with that combination. They're just both exhausted after that exchange. He just threw and Bumpus refused to come in. Had Bumpus come in, he'd have gotten cleaned out. Started very solid. Had a good first round. Second round was just about even. Willie Rodriguez has come on the last two rounds. Great right hand by Bumpus. Took the mouthpiece right out of the mouth of Willie Rodriguez. But there's Willie back again. <laughs> Both men showing a lot of signs of wear and tear. This is the kind of battle that'll grind you right into the canvas. And you see the time running down. We're round six, scheduled for 12. Oh, Bumpus caught Rodriguez. How that landed solidly. Rodriguez might have gone down. This is round seven. It has been classic boxing warfare. We are scheduled for 12, and keep in mind, in the United States Boxing Association title fights, if the bout is even at the end of 12, they would go to an additional sudden death round, and if the extra round is even, it would conclude as a draw, and it has been a close one. Very close, and let me remind you, in the state of New Jersey, unlike anywhere in the world, 
if a fighter goes down with two minutes and 59 seconds left, they do not ring the bell. They finish the count before they ring a bell, not to confuse anyone. So uh, a knockdown at the very end of the round. Don't look for a bell to save you. To this point, no knockdown. This fight has been going on like the Animal Fletcher Saboteur fight. Two guys right in the middle. Terrier like fighting it out. Round seven. And Buckus is calling. Use the jab. As he, he's on, doing what won in the first two rounds here. Rodriguez apparently, at the toll of the last two or three rounds, has taken on Rodriguez. He's slowed up. That allows um, a lot of jabbing from um, Bump City. Willie well, Rodriguez had particularly strong rounds in four and five. You gave Bumpus uh, the sixth round by a hair. By a hair. It's so close right now. It is so close. Willie, the champion, resting this round, allowing Bumpus to take the round. Could be a serious mistake. This fight is going to be so close. Less than a minute left, round seven. Willie Rodriguez on Johnny Bumpus. Again, trying that right hand that has worked for him all during this fight. I think he hit more leather than face that time, however. Johnny Bumpus, 21 years old, from Tacoma, Washington, now living in Clementon, New Jersey, just outside of Philadelphia. What a job the corner has done on Willie Rodriguez's eye. It has not become a factor. On the other hand, Bumps is closing up. With every round, it's getting more and more shut. He is virtually a one-eyed fighter at this point. A can by Bumpus. Final seconds. Round seven. And Willie Rodriguez out of his corner for round number eight. Johnny Bumpus in the red. Willie Fireball Rodriguez in the white. How did you score the last round? Uh, he gave the round to Bumpus. No question the champion was resting and cruising through that round. That makes it, that makes it a close fight, but it's still 4-2-1 or 4-3. Take your pick. Undefeated middleweight Alex Ramos, a close friend of Johnny Bumpus, leading the cheers for Bumpus. We'll see Alex in the ring right here on NBC Sports World, November the 14th in Atlantic City against Roberto Saboteur. And if anything, he's got a bigger test with Saboteur than Bumpus has right in front of him right now because that is a war. Bump. Ramos getting very worried. You can see how he's fighting. Have to fight for Bump City, but he can't take those shots. Bump City now going back to what won him in the first and second rounds. That nice jabbing, that staying away. Bump is looking sharper though here in round eight. It's youth, it's condition, it's experience now, and it's hard. Rodriguez looking very wary, as you said, he had a restful round in round seven, and he looks shot. He, he looks like he's given his best shots, and he is, uh, he never, never could take these long punches. And Buck is looking more confident now. He should be confident if he stays away. If he comes in close, again, Willie will take a round. is virtually a one-eyed fighter, but he's got two gloves and he's using them in every combination possible. Willie can't figure out what to do with Bumpus. Come on, Eddie, get back to that jab! Eddie, get back to that jab! Get back to the jab, says Lou Duva, from the corner of Johnny Bumpus. Johnny, get back to the jab! A low blow. A low blow, which 
doubled over Bumpus. Remains to be seen what effect that'll have for the rest of this round. Come on, stick it in his case. Come on, baby. Come on, put that jab in there. Lou Duva does not need a microphone. Oh, you can hear Lou Duva from the co coast to coast without a microphone, but he's saying the right thing. Jab. Move away from him. Come on. That's it. Put it right in there. And we approach 10 seconds for batting. And round eight. A very strong round for Johnny Bumpus. We'll be back after this. And we welcome you back to Atlantic City, New Jersey. Marv Albert on the fight, Dr. Ferdy Pacheco. And Johnny Bumpus taking command. He went through uh, scary rounds four and five. Looked to be in big trouble. Now it appears that the USDA champion, Willie Rodriguez, is the man facing the trouble. There's Johnny Bumpus doing what got him here. A fantastic jab, speed, movement, ability to box. But there's no question about it. He was in that dark room there for three or four rounds. Toe to toe with the champion. Why he did that, I don't know. Well, the voice you have been hearing throughout the bout belongs to Batman. Lou Duva in the corner of Johnny Bumpus. And what a crop he's got coming up. Ayala, Ramos, Bumpus, Bobby Chez. He's just licking his lips when he looks down the road. But today, he's got one big Come on, baby, stick that jab in there. Stick it in there. Willie Rodriguez. Come on. Now right back to that jab. Right back to that jab. And Rodriguez showing some fire as they trade Come company. Come on, back to that jab. Rodriguez trying to go Come back, on, trying to get him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe again. But this time, Bumpus won't buy any. Goes toe-to-toe, -to -toe, backs up, goes back to the jab. All right, stick it in there. Stick it in there. And we're midway point, round nine. And our scorecard now has Bumpus out in front, five rounds to two, one even. And points at 68-65. The champion has given him the last two rounds, or rather, Johnny Bumpus has taken him. Scoring of the state of New Jersey on a round system with the uh, supplementary five-point system. The round is even. The referee and the two judges score the bout. I get the feeling Willie Rodriguez is waiting for one last good shot the last two or three rounds. He's just started to put a little bit more pressure on than he had the last two rounds. A little late in this round. Of course, that could be a gamble, but then you have to feel that Rodriguez may have petered out. He is very exhausted. The corner of Ace Murata, Georgie Benton and Duba have done a wonderful job on the eye of uh, Johnny Bump City Bumpus. And the nose, there's no more blood coming from the nose. This is round 10, and listen to Rodriguez's manager, John Florio. He has some strong words for his fighter between rounds. All right, I have to tell you, you won three rounds in a row. You caught up to it. If you don't win the last three rounds, your title is bye-bye. Now, you don't go out and take the last three rounds. John Florio telling Wiley Rodriguez... You lost the last three rounds. If you continue in this matter, your title goes bye-bye. I can't agree with him more. Question is, what do you do? He's got to go out and just play it all. Lay it all out. Hope for a knockout. And it is Bumpus who has only gone to the 10th round on one prior occasion. After Rodriguez is so tired that he is waiting for the jab. When you wait for it, it's a sure way to eat it. When you got a sharp guy like Bumpus in front of you. Come back to that jab! Come back to that jab! Come back to that jab! Excellent work on that eye of Johnny Bumpus. Both corners have been exceptional. Both corners have done very good work. Johnny Bumpus opened up very sharp in the first round. 
Wally Rodriguez demonstrated that he was right in it. Excellent uh, fourth and fifth round for Rodriguez. Then it appeared he tired, and he coasted, and it has cost. And might have caught, oh, a terrific right hand, right on the jaw. Another one right on the jaw of Willie Ro uh, Rodriguez. Meanwhile, blood on the face of Johnny Buffus, uh, right underneath the right eye. Willie is waiting to land that right hand that has worked so well and putting power behind it. He's sort of economizing power and waiting to land that good right hand, hoping that one of them will change the tide. But while he's doing that, he is getting hammered. There goes that right hand I'm talking about. And looking to set up the left hook because he is known for that hook and uppercut. Right there hand that time by Rodriguez, but did not connect. Willie's punching very sharp, the kind of punches that knock you out. Rodriguez able to catch Bumpus. So Rodriguez, one of his better rounds since he looked so bright in round five. Well, every title means something. Every title is important to the man that holds it. This is showing right now that he wants it more, and Willie wants to keep it. Unofficially, of course, the way I have it, if Bump wins one more round, there's no way that he can keep his title. There's no way that Willie Rodriguez can keep his title but to knock out Bump. And there's the Bronx bomber, middleweight Alex Ramos who has been screaming on behalf of his pal, Johnny Bumpus, actually has had his own little fight in the aisle with himself. <laughs> He's going to have a much better one here November the 14th when he has Sabater in front of him, and we know what kind of heart sabater has got. Halfway mark, round 11, scheduled for 12. Johnny Bumpus undefeated at Canada with seven knockouts. Able to land that left hook. And lose Come on, stop that jab! In the corner of Bumpers. Ruben knows he can win a championship on just a jab, and he's right. And a baby, and a baby. Come on again. Now go back to that jab. Go back to that jab. Bumpus looked to be in enormous trouble back in rounds four and five, has been able to rally, and he has carried the fight since that time. He's been able to dictate the tempo of the fight and the style of the fight, which is what got away from him in the middle rounds. Bumpus is not the kind of slugger that should stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. He's the kind that should out-slick you and out-defense you. And blood coming down the right eye of Willie Rodriguez, who got caught once again. We're final seconds. Round 11. <laughs> Willie Rodriguez, who has had cut problems, although his corner has been able to handle the repairs, they've been able to adjust very well to this point. They're putting adrenaline in there. This is what that stick is. That's adrenaline and pressure. That's the most important thing. Over in Bumps' this corner, they got Dr. Michael Sabia's end swell. That little iron we talked about that Angelo used so well in the Leonard fight with Hearns. Oh, what are over me there? All right. Hey. Last round, right? Who? Hey, put water on my body, man. Somebody. Where's Sean? When's the Sean? Take him to the right. My neck. Last round. Come on, bud. That's Johnny Florio telling Willie Rodriguez, you got to go all out. Florio, looking at it realistically, knows his uh, fighter is behind Bumpus. So here is the 12th round. 
Mercanti looking very seriously at the eye as um, Willie is blinking. Uh, apparently some of that material got in his eye. He was blinking at the beginning of the eye. Arthur Mercanti very, very aware of the kind of damage that can be done. Oh, a right hand by Corpus that stunned Rodriguez. Rodriguez needs a knockout for victory. Right now he looks like he's fighting for survival. Now Johnny Bumpus looking to conclude it with the KO. And looking stronger than he has in the past several rounds. It's as if his adrenaline has come up. He knows this is a rash round. He's got to finish big. Oh, the combination by Bumpus. He's teeing off on Rodriguez now. Could be a mistake. He's so far ahead, he doesn't have to tee off on him. All he's got to do is jab him, run around, do what he's been doing. That's what makes him a champion, or that's what makes the kind of heart that makes a champion. You want to do your best even to the last round. his only hope that right hand that has been landing all fight long now Bumpus snapping the jab effectively as we approach one minute remaining in this 12th and final round Johnny Bumpus trying to wrest the USBA Junior Welterweight Championship away from the veteran from out of town Pennsylvania Willie Rodriguez Johnny should not be taking any chances. He's got this fight in the bag, and he's got the USBA title in the bag. But it remains to be seen whether the judges see it the way we see it, Mark. And again, Alex uh, Ramos urging Johnny Bumpers on. That's time remaining in the bout. Right hand by Bumpers that stuck. Rodriguez and we're final second so this one goes the distance Johnny Bumpus on our scorecard with the victory we'll have to wait and see how the referee Arthur Mercanti and the judges how Letterman and Charles Spina call it but it looks to be a win for Bumpus to take the USBA championship New Jersey, let's go to the ring announcer, Ed Darian, for the decision. All right. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, from the beautiful Sands Hotel here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, the scoring as follows. Referee Arthur Man Mercanti scoring it seven rounds, Bumpfist, five rounds, Rodriguez. Judge Harold Letterman scoring it. Eight rounds, Bumpfist. Three rounds, Rodriguez. One round, Eva. And Judge Charles Spina has it. Eight rounds, Johnny Bumpfist. Four rounds, Rodriguez. And the new U.S. Junior Welterweight Champion. Johnny Bump City Bumpus taking the U.S. Junior Runaway title away from Willie Rodriguez. Bernie is uh, gathering forces together with Johnny Bumpus's. Oh, yeah. yeah. George Benton. Bump City, who is now 11 and 0. Seven. On the great three-ribbon 